some of the problem with, with low T advertising is that if you listen to all the signs and symptoms, it includes probably the majority of men in the United States. In terms of truly low testosterone, it's actually a very small fraction of the male population in the United States that's truly affected by this. One of the problems in making this distinction is that testosterone levels fall with age. I think men who have a, a definite change in their sex drive, libido, men who are shave, need to shave less frequently, are losing muscle mass, body hair, notice their testicles are getting smaller, or if they're noticing enlargement of their uh, breasts, these are signs and symptoms that should prompt them to talk about the possibility of low testosterone with their physician. If the levels are too high, uh, it triggers the bone marrow to make more red blood cells, which makes the blood more thick and can predispose to stroke. Um, high testosterone levels also can promote growth of the prostate gland.